Where did you get the inspiration to do this tour with Motorhead and Dio? Well, we got a phone call from a promoter who's a dear friend of ours, and he said, hey, you know, there's an opportunity to put together the three bands, heavy metal, big tour. And we said, yeah, sounds like fun. We haven't been to Scandinavia for a while. You know I never How important it is to change of millennium to you? Because the tour is called Monsters of Millennium. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the tour is called Monsters of the Millennium, and I think it's a cool name, and I think it makes sense. A lot of people are certainly geared up for the millennium. So, if it's important to them, that's great. Don't you think it's too much already, this millennium stuff? Because yeah. pretty ridiculous myself. Yeah, I, I think it's probably a lot of bullshit for nothing, but that's life, you know, it's commercialism and it's marketing that people take advantage of. Uh, you said that heavy should be played loud, uh, so do you have any competition with Motorhead? Who's going to play loudest? No, we uh, we don't look at it that way. I think Motorhead deliver to their fans 100% of what their fans want, as does Dio, as does Man of War. We're going to kick your ass! The amount of liquid, the amount of drinking, well, I think everybody's been increasing as they go along. I mean, come on, it's kind of hard when uh, you, when you're here in countries like, you know, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland. I mean, you know, people drink up here, so you got to get with the spirit. swords and motorcycles in your image from from the beginning why are they so important i think man of war represents the warrior spirit and i think since the dawn of time you know you've got uh, warriors that have been the leaders of society and so we like to think of ourselves as sort of represent the leaders in heavy metal in our style of music anyway and for us it's just part of the spirit it's part of what we are it's what we do you also declared a war against false metal. Uh, can you define false metal? What is it? It is music that is called heavy metal, but it's played by people who have no talent, who have no reason to own instruments, and are only there to take money from the fans and not to really give the fans what they deserve. But isn't this um, concept of false metal getting a little blurry these days because um, there are so many different styles in metal these days. Yeah, but you can still hear the bands that play from the heart and really love the fans and really love the music. And you can see who's real and who's false. What makes Man of War's music true metal? The fact that we have been through about 17 record companies, we don't take shit from anybody, and we make our music solely for our fans, because we have the greatest fans in the world, and we know it, and our fans are number one, and if anybody doesn't like it, fuck you. This is Joey DeMaio from Manowar, and I want everybody to turn in to Yurki, kicking ass with heavy fucking metal. Fuck the world.